All right, folks, today we are uh, not going to the gym. We're going to do triceps here at the house. So this is uh, how the right tricep, the right arm in general, looks before the workout. There's the left side. So you can tell I got some, I got some tricep on me. Um, so what are we going to do today? We're going to try not to kill ourselves. Um, you know, I'm so used to using cable machines and all that good stuff. I, uh, I've kind of lost my way, right, for a lot of different things that I would have normally done back in the day. Um, the exercises that I would say used to work for me, uh, we have not been doing. So we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna start warming up. Um... I used to always do this one. Now I can really feel that in my elbow right now, so that's maybe not such a good thing, but uh, we'll put elbow sleeves on eventually. And then um, we'll go from there. I don't know that I'll use the, the real heavy dumbbells. Um, and then we have, we do have um, Olympic, uh, which we call it. So, Olympic dumbbell that we could make some seriously heavy weight. Now I could do, I'm doing this with two arms. I could do this with uh, one arm, right? Um, I could do it that way. But I think we'll, for balance purposes, we will we'll do this with uh, both arms. Um, I've got all kinds of other things you can check out in this home tricep workout i'll probably demonstrate more of the stuff and i'll actually like use it for a real workout but uh we shall see folks maybe um maybe we'll find a couple exercises we really like again and do those um not like in the bench thing or the utility i like this utility bench but I'm almost thinking I might stand up a little, do some of these. So, you know, we'll try and get the triceps. So at the gym, you know, we're doing cable um, press downs, right? <laughs> and so that's what I've been doing for who knows how long now. Um, hopefully we can do this without hitting the ceiling. Let's see. And now I also wonder, I was almost thinking the camera is slimming me a little bit. It's not really uh, figure flattering for my uh, stomach. <laughs> That's okay. I occasionally get those comments that, oh, I need to lose weight. Yes, we know that. So I'm kind of in the middle of a winter shred. And we are trying to, um, you know, get everything a little uh, slim down, we'll say. Um, I could do some biceps in between. <clears throat> then we'd really get a good pump for the workout today, folks. But uh, I have to do, I'm going to do a separate video later, I think, for um, shoulders. And we might as well just go ahead and get them warmed up. shoes folks is what I feel like I need. I'm not wearing any shoes right now. <laughs> Let me go grab a pair of shoes. I don't know how the hell some of these people work out shoeless. They're truly all right folks we're gonna do uh, 15s now and then I'm gonna take you over to the a different spot. <laughs> Come 
come back. We're going to alternate. Alternate our views. This is going to be a long video. All on the whole uh, sake of getting our watch hours up. Uh, let's see. i got to angle this so that we can see the bench. And let's give you guys an idea of what we've got going on here. So this is that signature fitness belt squat thing. And however, we're going to try and do some little triceps with it. Um, first time really actually doing this besides there's nothing on there. I'll try to start with a five pounder and we'll just see. We'll see if we can get any kind of feel for it. Um, of course, this is a lot easier if you have somebody hand it to you. And I can tell you, this part kind of sucks. <laughs> All right, so we uh, just trying to, you know, just like at the gym, um, not knock yourself out with the hitting yourself with the uh, knuckle on this thing, but I think once I put some weight on here, we will be able to uh, get a pretty good workout from it. And so we'll stay here for, maybe we'll do, we'll do another set here in this location. Um, I like playing this a little bright. Change angles. Flop this around. From here, I'm going to do. I'll go up and wait. So we'll grab. We'll just do the thirties. From here. I can hear the elbows cracking. Oh, not such a good thing. Uh, so we do have somewhere around here a tricep bar. And I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas of some crap you could do at home in your own home gyms. Now, by the end of this, if I my triceps feel pretty pumped, then we know we, we did good. So, here's another bar to do work your triceps, right? Kind of the same movement we're doing. So, I'll, I'll incorporate that into this next with some actual weight on it. And I think we'll, we'll just keep this location. Let me see if I dim, I dim the light over here. And then we'll turn on some side lights because it's a little dark. There we go. I think we're good now, folks. Unfortunately, the lighting is so, um, so bright. Just kind of kills any even thought of uh, showing off muscularity. Okay, so we added five more pounds. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a good pump out of this. Now I'm going to use this signature fitness thing in the future. Uh, maybe you know I'll not always go to the gym to do my triceps, and we'll stay at the house. Um, or not. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So we got a little more weight on there. And if I had the single rope, folks, right, we could do one arm at a time, even though that actually um, be 
because of the weight of the contraption. I can feel that. Now I do have a straight bar coming. I've got the V bar coming. Um, maybe you know not the best idea, but if you don't want to buy a cable machine, this uh, this will get your work out. I'm gonna I'm gonna put these on the uh, where this this curl devices tricep curl bar. One other thing we can do, I'll grab eventually a uh, actual curling bar and do some skull crushers. And maybe wait more towards the end. I'll get the bar out though. So we have all those bars in the corner. Um, I've never used the super curl for this, so I think today We'll try the super curl and get this into rotation. Now back in the day we used to put some put some serious weight on this, but that was back in the day, so now this may because of the size of it smack into some things. We'll see. So with this we would uh, if we had the other bar, we'd try and hit our our forehead. So this is super curl and it's basically become the super try extension. That actually feels pretty good. Um, so we might, we might keep this in the rotation. Get this on the ground. Yeah, so when I get the straight bar or the the other curling bar, I would take off the rope that's on here and work that in. Um, we'll do that maybe in the next tricep video. Okay, so coming over here, and we'll do 35s this time. Oh, so here's the Olympic dumbbell folks, right? So if it had some weight on there, we could use this potentially. Uh, though there is the worry that the collars might not hold the weight if you go too heavy. Okay, so 35s. And you know, one thing I want to do with this for a video, so you might beat me to it, but load up some weight on this and just see, you know, various collars, how much can they hold up? Uh, because doing that exercise, you know, if you can make a big dumbbell using these, then I don't need the 100 pounders like I thought, you know, or Some of the other, the other items I thought I needed to buy. While I'm over here, let's do a let's do a set of tens for side lats. Oops, I really don't like my dumbbell rack. I don't think you guys can really see it, but now those Olympic dumbbells I think are eight pounds. And then like nine. So you could use that for a dumbbell in between your fives and tens. All right, so where are we at, folks? Is it time to do tricep again or time to take a orange juice break? I think it's time to do orange juice break. And a lot of times I got an energy drink going. Not obviously very healthy for me. So um, 
we're not doing that today. I say that, I've got a bunch of workouts. So we're going to make a couple of breakout videos today. Um, so maybe <laughs> if we find a we'll run out of steam. Man, I got collars everywhere in this place. All over the place. Trying to match which one goes with which. There we go. I'm going to put the collars on. And get ourselves in position. And tricep curl or tricep press. I notice, you know, with this one, I'm doing a slightly different motion than you know, I do with the actual skull crusher. And we could, if we had some real weight on her, we could do some presses as well at the end. Okay. So I'll just drop that here. You can tell we're facing the cluttered side of the, the basement. Um, We're gonna hit that, hit the, the rope, hit the super curl, and go back tricep. Um, yeah, folks, we're gonna be doing a lot of sets here. But maybe we'll hit one of these, we'll, we'll hit a weight that we can't go any higher, and then that'll, that'll be over. Okay, so heart rate started to pick up a little bit. So I don't, you know, I don't know whether this is such a great idea, but for those that love the rope, um, I think it's not a bad idea. Now, can I get in a position where I can flare out a little better? You know, and then I'm like getting a good lockout. You got to set yourself up to be in her purpose for that and the there's a little twist in this thing that is causing me some ang anguish we'll call it <laughs> um get one more ten. I've never done that before. Drop one of these on my face. Hmm. Right above my lip. Before I untangled it, but hmm. Okay. Go ahead and put another five on there. And I think the French curl bar we need fives on it. Or super curl. Super curl, sorry. I'm still here thinking about my, my lip. I did not like that. <laughs> I got toughen up, bro. All right, here we go. So we'll do this without collars. I'm make sure I might not. Hope it won't slide off. And whoa. Next set, we'll, we'll think of colors on it. All right. Let's switch back. 
this side. Fives over here. We could just jump up, right? Uh, run that out of one of those anyways. But we'll do the forties. Now back in the day, I used to have a problem with. I think I would work up to the one twenties, but. Getting them up there, <laughs> I would need help. Once they're in position, no problem. I think we'll, I think we're probably doing a few too many exercises. Um, you know, if I had the single rope, I could probably do tricep kickbacks with this. You know, of course, you can do it with a dumbbell. That used to be my one of my favorite tricep exercises. Do hmm. now. This is not much of a jump up, but the fact is we're doing four traps of exercise at once, instead of concentrating on one exercise, which we, we could, you know, obviously go up heavier, heavier. <clears throat> So just a, you know, variation of a skull crusher. A lot easier on the elbow. <sighs> okay. Um, what I could do, we're gonna go back over here. And do a set of shoulders. Let's give you a chance to see how uh, that bright light is screwing things up. Um, hang on a second. So I know we're kind of jumping, jumping all around. Um, I gotta get my shoulder workout in it. Because I didn't finish it yesterday. And by the end of this, if we get a good shoulder pump, maybe you guys will appreciate the Weight Slayer's effort on the shoulders and his triceps. We'll go back over there in a moment. So I got 40s. Let's just jump to 45s, all right? Or excuse me, let's just jump to the 50s. And we do have the two and a half pound magnetic weights. One more set on our shoulders. Yes, I am looking at my shoulder. You know, I funny thing is with me, if I actually flex, it doesn't get any better. <laughs> Until you get, you know, a little more shredded, right? <laughs> Throw up the 18s. I I've been kind of skipping these lately, but 
I don't think we're going to go heavy like we did. I could have sworn last week I tried 55s. Um, one arm at a time. That was, you know, kind of stupid. But, uh, we realistically been doing 40, 40 to 50s for almost a decade now. With no sign of improvement. Um, from the aspect of the amount of weight we're lifting. Okay. Let's, let's take you back. Do the rope again. I think I'll hold off on the, you know, the skull crusher until the end of this. Again, trying to bash myself in the face. Now, if we had that one, the ball, it's like on the cable, we could also use that as well, which would be nice. And luckily, I think we can just do what I just did there to make life a little easier. Make sure we don't let go though. Okay. So this thing, when it twists, you can feel it in one arm more than the other. I do like that, folks. Uh, I think we'll stick around over here for another set. So our we could probably get away with putting a twenty-five. Let's see. How to take all the weight off to move the weight tree over, which was good, you know. I needed to get it out of the way. Um, it was about six inches further in here. Back on the rack. Hmm. I wish this had three three spots for forty fives. That would have been awesome. So, you know, I'm always talking about wanting to buy more weights, more gear, more this, more that. Frickin' Amazon had the Cat 45s on sale, $52. But guess what? There's only one available, right? Who's that gonna be? No. I could get one 52 and pay later for 62, I guess. That goes back to regular price. Buy one now. Maybe, maybe I could buy both of them. You know, realistically, I should be just buying a bunch of different brand weight plates. Um, maybe I need to buy single 45s, but to save money on that plan. Just to, you know, compare, unbox them, compare, uh, talk about them, quality, this and that. Of course, if they come in, you know, broken. And you know the quality is up. If they overshadow the paint, 
you know there's a lack of attention to detail there. Okay. 25. I was screwing around there a little bit, but I think that's a good, since I haven't done that in a long time, I think 25 is enough. We'll kill that exercise for the rest of the video. Um, yeah, what else, folks? I, uh, so many things I want to buy. So many things I bring up more than once on these videos, and uh, it's a little repetitive, probably. more than a little repetitive, but we've got to we got to figure out how to make this whole weightlifting thing profitable. So right now, well. For a while there, I had, uh, we were doing weightlifting videos probably on four or five channels. And really, you know, the best one is the Weight Slayer channel. But I don't get no money off of it, right? So we were doing all, trying to build up views on the other channels. And so I had weightlifting on four channels. One or two channels were making money off that, and then stupid me started reusing videos, and so we um, came into a problem with. There's a problem when I try to monetize this channel. <laughs> you're re you're reusing too much. I was like, what? <laughs> it's my content. Who cares, right? I mean, as long as you got it just showing in one place. No, the fact that you had it still stored on one other channel, even if it was in private, um, was a problem. But you know, for shorts, it's like, I could upload the short on the monetized channel, make the money, and then if I had been smarter, I would have deleted those videos, re-uploaded them on the weight slayer, and then, We'd have got the views we needed there, and we got income. Um, so unfortunately, we're down one channel for monetization for a while, so we serve our sentence. Uh, and then, <laughs> hopefully they'll get back to me. But this channel was so close to being monetized, and doesn't even have the proper number of subscribers, so it's either the lower level tier or the fact that I have another channel that is monetized, they were going to let me monetize this one. Um, I got my dream at one time was five channels, then I added a six, and I've kind of ignored, we have a gardening travel channel, kind of ignored that channel, gaming only channel, kind of ignored that. And so that has left me with uh, really concentrate too much on this channel, neglecting my channel that does make, the channels that do make money. Uh, so, you know, we made a couple mistakes. <clears throat> now, one thing really stinks about um, losing monetization, this is like the best month to get money from. Or excuse me, last month was the best month. November, December, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So, I got to switch to the straps. Alright, I don't think... I'm not sure we're going to do another set over here. 
Maybe we will. We'll stick around. We'll do 70s. I'm not going to do the 80s. Um, we'll do the 70s. Then we'll, we'll go back to the other section. So I, you know, I demonstrated a few tricep exercises. My goal wasn't really to um, go overboard with them. I'm trying to keep my right elbow happy by not overdoing it this week. We're still not done with triceps, though. I mean, we're gonna we'll have to we're gonna get the shoulders pumped, the tricep pumped, and we're gonna come over here. See how things are looking when I turn that light off. This may be the last that I do without either a weight belt or um, one, you know, I'll go to one arm at a time. Yeah, the amazing thing about YouTube, once you start to really crank and make money, it just it always seems to kick you back in the butt. And, you know, whether it's a suspension, uh, you know, whether it's, you know, loss of monetization, kind of like a suspension, whether they uh, copyright claim you and you lose money on a video that's making money um, whether it's I don't know how hard it is to get copyright strikes now but uh, in the past I used to get I would do a lot of sports videos um, a lot more than I do now and we get occasionally copyright striked and then lose, lose my uh, monetization again. You think I've learned my lesson, <laughs> but um, those videos, unfortunately, they're very popular. They get a lot of views. They get a lot of subscribers. They get a lot of. Um, I wouldn't say they make a lot of money, but they do, you know, make some money. It makes you wish you could just do highlights and split. You know, it was like a 20%. You get 20%, the NFL gets 80, or college gets 80, you know. Still make some money off of it. Doing something you enjoy. But, uh, yeah. I will eventually, folks, get this channel monetized. I will eventually get channel that kind of dedicated to our two cats monetized and then I will get uh, go back and get the gaming and the travel channel monetized and you know when that happens you know those will one two channels will bring a lot of money and then one channel or the other the other two or three you know it will just trickle change in But it's still, in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> getting there. <clears throat> All right. That's enough of that. Um, 35s. So we'll just switch to single arm. We'll come back and do 35s here after we do a set of the ropes. I think the last time I, I loaded up some more weight.
forgot how much I hated having lifting straps on while I'm doing any tricep exercise, and especially one that's going to hit your face. I'd say, I'd say tricep wise, we'll just do a couple more sets of that. I am back to here, and then we'll we'll do our uh, shoulders. I'll suck that good in. You shut this thing off. So yeah, today I thought, hey, let's do our, let's work our neck today too, you know? Let's do all these different things. The reality is, I'm, I'm hurting. I didn't get, I didn't have any alcohol last night, but I'm just hurting from lack of sleep and all that other good stuff. Okay, so we're going to do one single arm 40s. The lighting is not very good at the moment. I gotta get this carpet squared away. See the forty five, so I don't know about it. So, yeah, the carpet is kind of in a bad spot. The tricep is pretty poked, so is that one. Yeah, we gotta, you know, like I always say, makes money, takes money to make money. We definitely have that problem right now. As I found, you know, with product reviews, you gotta spend a lot of money on product reviews just to get, you know, enough money to make a considerable amount of money. And then, once you get it going, it's like sustaining it. When, what to pick out that's going to make you money. That is when it's freaking tough, folks. Um, yeah, I can't find a good... I guess I could hold myself up against the wall. Maybe that'll work. We'll try that on the 45. I think I've come up with a plan, though. I want to... I talk about buying all this equipment and stuff. I think I want to buy the, I'm going to buy the workshop first. That way, at least we were to have to sell the house or whatever. We get, you know, we'd have that money invested, and it would be equity a lot of it. But I was also thinking it'd be nice to have a bathroom in it, but. Price would go way up. So, um, and then it's like, well, do you make it into a guest house too? <laughs> guest bedroom? No. These are some of the shittiest sets I've done, folks. That was that was piss poor. Uh, 
But yeah, figuring out that whole mess. And then, then I'd be like, okay, now I can go buy the equipment. Um, and it's a shame though that I couldn't get a, probably get a business loan for the equipment, but maybe I could. Um, I think you always come and repossess it, right? I think. We always do um, fronts tomorrow, I guess, which would be kind of ridiculous. I can just do fronts now, I guess. Get some arms up. So I talked about tricep kickbacks, but we didn't do any. Um, we had a bench, you know, we'd try to get our upper body parallel to the ground, kick that back. Of course, this is my bad elbow, so we can't really get it too far back, but the top part of the arm, we are doing our best to keep that parallel to the ground. I just don't know what I should do anymore, folks. Hmm. Yeah, let's see how a set of 50s is with the, with the left. We won't go. We won't go. side or maybe we'll do the left oh, man my shoulder is popping a little bit that's not good too much work possibly but it is um uh, it's paying off though all this hard work except in the gutter up in the good area, folks. I was trying to do the 50s left side, which is usually weaker, but. <sighs> All right, huh? I'm not gonna win any bodybuilding competitions, but at least we're we'd be a force to be reckoned with. I think if somebody came around the corner thinking they were gonna do something bad to me, and they're like, "Oh wow, look at that arm!" <laughs> Maybe I think twice. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but hopefully I don't need my sleeve showing to. I think it's a bad idea to screw with me. Okay. Okay. So that did not go as good as I want it to. Um, hence is life when you're working out.
we had three straight days of going pretty hard. And, you know, we're feeling the effects. Alright, I'm going to clean this up while I'm, you know, getting breathing down. There's multiple spots for 25 on this thing. Tens. That's the one thing when I buy the when I do buy the weight tree. Um, or not the weight tree, when I do buy the incline pad. It's gonna be like, uh, do we need one of these places to stack weights? <laughs> Seems like that's probably a no. Okay. Just a little cleanup. Just a little cleanup. I think I put a little bit on there, right? So eventually I'll make a compilation of things I can do with this once I have all the bars. I don't even have the belt squat yet, but I was almost thinking, I gotta go and travel. No sense in getting into belt squatting just yet. But the other stuff this thing's useful for is I think, um, I definitely like it for just shrugging, being able to do one arm at a time instead of having to lift so much weight uh, that's going to be that's going to be beneficial I think and then I could dem I think I will take the weight off and try and demonstrate some side lat raises or side raises somebody call them side Side flies in the video. I was like, what is that guy talking about? I never heard that one, but maybe maybe they're changing up the terminology. This is gonna be the last set of these folks. I can make it a good one, huh? Actually I kind of feel like we could go heavier. Switch sides too for the sake of making sure we're working both sides. Hmm. All right, maybe we maybe we have another set of this. Um, we gotta clean this other crap up anyway, so we'll, we'll do that. Then we'll we'll try and demonstrate side raises with it. Um, I, I told you I was going to come back for the skull crushers, but I just don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> Not a good idea. So, but I at least demonstrated a few tricep exercises you can do at the house. Uh, one more we'll do here. Just to show it. So, you can grab a dumbbell, sit on the bench, and 
you know, you could come in this way and do your presses. You come across the body. You could do two arms at a time. Um, so that's, that's definitely another thing. Sometimes I'll do that at Planet Fitness just because there's only so many tricep things you can do there. Now we didn't do a uh, closed grip really. I did demonstrate with the tricep curling bar or whatever, a closed grip pressing, you know, bench press wise, um, shoulder width and in is going to be a closed grip bench press. So there's another thing you could potentially do in your house uh, if you have a bench press. I don't think there's too too much other stuff. Um, you could do push-ups on the ground with a closed grip. All right, let's do this. We we added ten pounds, so it's gonna be a maybe feel like significant jump this time. Or not? Who knows? It's heavier, but it still feels relatively light. Now the goal would not be to bounce this off the ground. Uh, we were really, you know, trying to use momentum than we might. But and this thing's starting to rock my. my uh, what you call it? Uh, power cage. All right, so that that was our home tricep workout. Um, you know, shit feels hard. So I think we did some little change up. You know, would I recommend this workout over the gym? Um, going, you know, going to Planet Fitness and just doing machines and cables and stuff. I think variety is a good thing, right? Every other week, changing it up or if you're young and you can handle two two tricep workouts a week and not getting tendonitis or other flare-ups, um, you know, maybe you do one early in the week, the other later in the week. I would say alternating would be the best thing. So pick a day that you're not doing bench press and, and work your triceps. Um, and yeah, the skull, the skull crusher. You know, is definitely one of the major tricep building exercises. Closed grip, bench press would be, you know, another one. Obviously doing bench press in general, your triceps are going to get stronger. If we're doing push-ups, you know, they might get a little stronger from that. Um, but yeah, really the two, the two are the closed grip and the, uh, the skull press. Now, at Planet Fitness or another gym, you know, doing the V-bar, um, trying to go as heavy as you can go for anywhere from 10 to, to 30, uh, you know, that, that gives you a great pump and uh, the lower, the lower reps, you know, are going to help you bulk up your triceps. So it's a, it's a good thing, you know. All right, we're gonna take all these tens off real quick and try and demonstrate how one might do um, a shoulder workout with this thing. And I think I'll probably go ahead and maybe put this bench back, getting it ready for either Friday or Thursday bench press. I don't know what day we'll, we'll do our next bench. Kind of excited having bought this big bench daddy sling that we're gonna you know possibly we didn't go all out last week because the prior week we had maxed out so it was like 
and I can't max out again. Um, but honestly, once a month, benching or maxing out probably not a bad thing. Doing it twice a month, I don't think is too good an idea when you're older. And probably even when you're younger. Odds are where you're going to hurt yourself is maxing out, right? It's cool to know, oh man, I can lift all this weight. But what's even cooler, I think, is uh, you're stopping at three reps and getting stronger that way and realizing that I can now do 50 pounds more for three reps. So my max is probably 50 pounds heavier, or actually probably even heavier than that. Okay. So I'm gonna need an accessory rack eventually. On this thing. So how do we do this, folks? Um, probably across the body. If we had a long enough chain um, to the front, we can do front raises as they appear. Can't really do rear, or I can't really do lats, but could I do bent overs? Yeah, that doesn't feel good either. Um, yeah, this thing's very limited with what you could do. Like I was saying, you could do shrugs with it. You can, uh, what else can I do? Shrugs. Oh, we could do these. Definitely do those, right? If you had the the rolling bar, you could sit here and do that. And in fact, I'm probably gonna just get that, but um yeah, I think it's gonna do it for this video, folks. I think we're done. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe, thank you.